Let's go on to game number seven because this game killed a lot of people. Uh, Napoli versus Lecce. Napoli at minus 375. Lecce also at plus 1,000. The goal line is set at three at minus 135. Handicaps at one and a half with, again, Napoli being favourites to win by two clear goals at minus 135. The draw for me is redundant at plus 525. Napoli to score three is at minus 105. Mina, Napoli... They, well, they scared the life out of me or more to the point you scared the life out of me telling me Osman was going to leave and maybe go to Manchester United. Do you think that that may be a bit far-fetched now? It seems to be something, basically, that the deal was, and there was a lot of talk about it even in the post-match conference with Spalletti, who said, obviously, there's no coach in the world who would say no to Ronaldo, the idea of Ronaldo. The deal was 100 million for Osman, and then Ronaldo would go to Napoli because then he can play Champions League football. They would get Osman and then they would help cover the wages of Ronaldo. And that had been spoken about incessantly over the weekend. Now, Edu Aguirre has come out from El Chiringuito and said that Ronaldo is not moving to Napoli. Considering how much United have just paid for Anthony, it would make sense for them to pay 200 million over the course of two days. Of course, it's not beyond them, but right now, Osman is probably going to be thinking about all of this. There's a lot of commotion around this deal, so I'm staying away from what I think that Osman can do. Now, Crevis Kelia is the player that everyone has been like admiring so far for Napoli. And to me, he is such a talent. He didn't do so well against Fiorentina, and I get that. Um, and I love the way that Raspadori came on and changed the game, or at least tried to create space. But I still, I'm still going with Crevis Kelia as, as a player who could score at any time. I think Napoli are still a very good team. And even though Lecce fight and really push, and they can even be dirty at times, they're no match for Napoli's technique. Yeah, Kovic is uh, plus 165 to score at any time. Matty, would you say that Napoli have been probably the most impressive side out of uh, all in Serie A this season? Yes, so far, definitely. Um, I would actually put Lecce up there as well as, you know, performing better than what most people would think they would have performed up to this point. Only lost by one to enter. They did lose 1 0 to Sassuolo and then finally got their first point against Simply last week. So they haven't really done anything special, but I think they have been competing in games um, closer than what we expected them to. And what's really interesting about this game is this line is at plus one and a half, plus 115. Um, they have covered plus one and a half in 25 straight games. And now I'm not really in the business of going to test Napoli at home on this minus one and a half here by playing a plus one and a half. But I do think it's very interesting. And I think there's quite a bit of value in that. Um, just for the fact is Lecce don't really get blown out very often by anyone. Um, last time they lost by more than uh, one and a half goals was actually against Roma and Coppa Italia in January of this year. So that was, what, eight months ago and Coppa Italia. And I don't know, even at halftime, the game was one to one. I think Lecce could definitely score in this game. Yeah. Napoli, it seems like when Napoli is able to score goals, they're a little bit leaky because they're just playing so open. Like even against Monza, they won four nothing. That game could have been four one. Monza had one ruled off. It was very close. I think Lecce are capable of scoring in this game, but I, I wouldn't put it over Napoli's head to score three or four in this game. Um, so that's why I would lay off the plus one and a half. But I do think that's probably where the value lies. OK, but Napoli to win by two clear goals at minus 135 as well. Um, let's have a little look because obviously we don't need to uh, labour the point that Napoli are flying. Uh, Lecce got to go there and they will be in survival mode. Um, but Mina's found that an uh, anytime goal scorer at plus 165. Kavica to score anytime is a plus 165. Myself and Matt have left it alone just because it's one of those where maybe Napoli half time, full time, maybe Napoli in a uh, in a free team parlay with Juve and Roma. We all expect Napoli to win, um, but we feel as if the Queen has the uh, has the value. 